London didn't seem quite so far away. They had a bit of the same weather as we did today. A little rainy. We've got the snow, though. Yes, we did <laughs> see some snow, but we did start off with some widespread light showers today and a few isolated thunderstorms just continue to flare up. The good news, though, thunderstorms and the snow, they're expect it's expected to end tonight. It's going to be a sunny and dry day tomorrow. We're still looking at another weak system to pass through on Monday, not quite as impactful. And then by the end of the week into next weekend, get ready for a big warm up. We've been in the 60s. We're going to go straight into the 90s. Right now, though, let's give you a live look outside. Our Calster's camera a bit shaky. The winds are pretty strong outside. You can see, though, some clouds developing off in the distance. More isolated thunderstorms are still possible. Once the sun goes down, though, that should all start dissipating. Currently, though, temperatures are feeling quite comfortable. We are sitting in the low to mid 60s right now. 59 degrees in Modesto. We're looking at 57 in Jackson, 50 in Placerville, and 30s up in the high country. The winds, it's been kind of shaky out there with the cameras. You can see wind speeds right now in Sacramento at 17 miles per hour, 18 in Fairfield, and even a bit breezy for Roseville and Lake Tahoe. Wind speeds tomorrow morning will be on the lighter side, but we're expecting to see the winds increasing once again by the afternoon. So get ready for the winds to pretty much be in the same range as what we're seeing right now, 15 to 20 miles per hour as we head towards that 5, 6, 7 o'clock hour. Now, right now on our current satellite and radar tracker, still very active, but not quite as widespread as early this morning. But we're still seeing some pockets of thunderstorms flaring up into parts of the valley and into the foothills. Snow showers are still coming down, although not quite as intense as early this morning. But again, as we go throughout the evening tonight, all of this will start to dissipate and clear out, especially for the valley. By 9, 10 o'clock tonight, we'll still see some activity up in the Sierra. But once we pass midnight, all of that starts to clear up, and it should lead us to a real nice day on Sunday, leaving to mostly dry conditions and again mostly sunny as well but there's that next system that will be passing through it is expected to bring this chance for some light valley rain early monday morning and mainly four to possibly six inches of snow above i-80 so it won't be a completely widespread event as we head into monday and then all that should start to ease off as we head towards the day on tuesday but this graphic does show that tuesday might be a bit cloudy but at least it should be mostly dry and then once we hit wednesday thursday into friday high pressure will build in and that's going to allow our temperature temperatures to really start feeling a bit more like early summer tonight, though it will feel pretty comfortable temperatures in the 40s across the valley and the foothills 20s early tomorrow morning in the high country and then for the day tomorrow again partly to mostly sunny here in the valley temperatures get out of the 60s for many locations, but We'll still be below average in the low 70s. Foothills tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures warming into the mid 50s for Pollock Pines, mid to upper 60s for the rest of the foothills. And then up in the Sierra, we're expecting mostly sunny skies tomorrow. So if you missed hitting the slopes today because of all that winter weather, it's going to be a great day tomorrow to enjoy that fresh powder. Upper 40s for Truckee and South Lake Tahoe, 50s out in Plumas County. And the Bay Area forecast calls for partly to mostly sunny skies. 61 in San Francisco, 65 in Napa, and 68 out in Fairfield. So again, tomorrow's going to be the better day of the weekend. The chance for some light showers early Monday morning. We head into the 70s Tuesday into Wednesday, low 80s on Thursday, upper 80s on Friday, and we're shooting straight into the 90s starting next week, Saturday. Ashley.